Today on The Daily Echo, we explain the differences between viruses and bacteria. Let's get started. Definitions Viruses are molecular and protein aggregates that lack a life of their own. However, they possess genetic elements and constitute one of the most numerous and diverse groups of systems or organisms that have evolved on planet Earth. On the other hand, bacteria are a group of unicellular microorganisms that are really extensive and varied. They can survive in very hostile environments on the planet, both in aerobic and anaerobic conditions, as well as in areas of high or low temperatures. Difference between viruses and bacteria The main difference between viruses and bacteria, in summary, is their state. That is, viruses are not considered living organisms, while bacteria are. Nevertheless, there are more differences between viruses and bacteria. Let's take a look at them. Size Bacteria are much larger than viruses, sometimes up to 100 times larger, and can be observed with an optical microscope, while viruses require higher resolution electron microscopy to be seen. Structure The anatomy of bacteria includes a sturdy cell wall, as well as structural membranes and different intracellular organs such as ribosomes, cytoplasm, and bacterial genome. Viruses, on the other hand, only consist of their genetic material enclosed in the viral capsid. Reproduction In bacteria, the process of reproduction is complex and is characterized by the ability of the mother cell to reproduce autonomously, that is, without the need for another organism to divide and transmit its genetic information to its daughter cells, which are also capable of dividing again and continuing the reproductive process. In contrast, viruses cannot reproduce without a living host to infect or parasitize. They rely on the enzymatic and reproductive machinery of another cell they infect, allowing them to reproduce through a process of genetic material replication that creates the new virus. Contagion When bacteria infect an organism, the effects of their contagion are due to the action of different metabolic products they produce, which are harmful to the infected organism, causing various diseases that require the administration of antibiotics to eliminate the bacterial cell wall and, consequently, cause bacterial death. In contrast, during a viral infection, the cells of the infected organism are directly attacked as the virus lyses and ruptures healthy cells to ensure its survival, causing serious disruptions in cellular organization and, in the case of animals, in their immune system. Treatment To deal with a viral infection, the application of vaccines that kill the viruses or virostatic drugs that inhibit the virus's multiplication inside the organism as well as other medications that alleviate the effects of the infection, such as fever, will be necessary. Both viruses and bacteria can be transmitted through various routes, direct contact between people, some from animals to people, or vice versa, contact with contaminated surfaces or contaminated materials and fluids, or through contaminated food. The mode of transmission will depend on the type of virus or bacterium in question. Similarities between viruses and bacteria Both viruses and bacteria can have genetic material, RNA and DNA, or both. Also, they are microorganisms, although their size may vary, as we have seen before. We also find that both cause diseases. Tell us! Did you know the differences between viruses and bacteria? See you next time, ecologists!